What's up everyone, thanks for watching. It's time to finish off my B5M drag car by painting the J Concept Chevy 2 Nova body. I'm not gonna make you watch me cut out the masking for this crazy design. I have a few other painting videos on my channel you can check out if you wanna see how I do it. This body comes in three separate parts, so I had to make sure the design lined up on each part before painting. Oops, almost forgot about the wing, so four parts. Like always, your first color should be your darkest, so I'm starting with black for the wing, bumpers, and window trim. I'm using Proline paint for this body. I've been using their paint for the last couple of bodies I've done and really like it. I like to lay down a light dust coat first and then come back with a heavier coat after that dries. The wing was a little tougher because of the deep grooves. I'm now applying the heavier coat of black, which should finish off the first color. After the black dried, I went ahead and unmasked the next color. You can see all of the areas marked with a B are unmasked. I was originally going with black here too, but decided to go with charcoal gray instead. The charcoal gray is a metallic and will need a few more coats than the black, but the first coat is still a light one. The second coat makes it a little easier to see what the charcoal gray will look like. I think I'll put one more coat and then we can start on the next color. If you haven't figured it out by now from some of my other paint jobs, I really like purple. So obviously this body is getting some purple too. This is the only color that isn't from Proline. This is actually the same Createx purple I used on my Axial Bomber cage. Once again, starting with a light coat and then a few heavier coats. Well, I guess I lied. I almost forgot. The last color was also not a Proline color. I forgot to order some green, so I used some Tamiya PS8 light green that I had left over from my SMT10 body. This was a spray paint, so I had to go outside to spray it. While I was out there, I backed everything with some bright silver to complete the paint job. So there it is. I went kind of crazy on this one, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Hit that like button if you liked the design I came up with and enjoyed the video. I was able to get some test passes in, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video coming soon. This build has been a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching. Peace.